Hello everyone, Chief here, back again with some more Halo 4 news. What I have for you guys today is details on the Halo 4 Champions Bundle bonus content. So content you'll only receive if you purchase the Halo 4 Champions Bundle. Also, I'm going to be talking about the three brand new armor mods that you'll be receiving free to Halo 4's multiplayer. But first, let's dive on into the bonus content. So quickly, for those who do not know what the Halo 4 Champions Bundle is, I did a breakdown on the details in regards to the bundle in a previous video. Basically, it's the next set of installment of DLC content coming to Halo 4 this August 20th and to answer everyone's questions, no this will not be covered by the War Games map pass. That season's pass only covered and specifically laid out the plans that it would only cover the Crimson, Majestic and Castle map pack. So that season's pass is over with, you have to pay for the bundle or for the individual DLC packs. But if you guys want more details, link down below in the description, annotation on screen, go take you on over there. But this is updated in regards to the bonus content you'll receive and the armor mods, which were all rumored at the time. On screen here, I have the graphic here showing the five new weapon skins you will receive free as bonus content if you guys purchase the Halo 4 Champions bundle. The first one being the trauma weapon skin for the assault rifle there. Just blood splattered all over the assault rifle there. Looks pretty gruesome there. The second one there is Teeth, another one for the assault rifle there, very reminiscent of the old school flamethrower from previous Halo games there with the shark kind of face and teeth all over the front and the nose of the assault rifle there. And the battle rifle also gets another weapon skin here by the name of Salvage there, kind of looks kind of like camo like, a little bit of kind of construction grid lines, I don't know the best way to describe it but it's kind of neat looking. And we also have Indigo and Flare for the Magnum there, just bringing more options for your different loadout weapons. Here we have a look at the eight brand new stances that you'll get as bonus content from the Halo Force Champions bundle. We have Seasoned, Menace, Loyalty, Lookout, Confident, Drawn, Flank, and Grand Stand. Now personally, I think I might go with Lookout there just because it reminds me of the Captain Morgan's pose. Just a little bit. I don't know. Leave me your thoughts on which stance you like. You will also receive five brand new armor skins as bonus content from the Champions bundle and those armor skins are by the name of Tracer, Column, Python, Bayonet, and Solid. Unfortunately, no graphic was released, but armor skin versions and different variations are very, very minute. They're basically the different lines and different colors on the different armor sets that you do have in Halo 4. So my interpretation of this is that I think every single armor set may be receiving different armor skins or maybe a select few with these five brand new armor skins. Not entirely sure right now. Now let's talk about the brand new armor mods that you will be receiving to Halo 4's multiplayer free of charge. We have three of them. Unfortunately, one of them does come with a catch. And that one being the Resistor Tactical Package, which has been confirmed by Halo Waypoint and 343 employees as of now, on which they have stated the Champions Bundle will include a sneak peek to the Resistor Armor Mod. This armor mod allows players to retain full mobility despite taking fire for a few moments. The armor mod will be eventually made available to players in the Halo 4 matchmaking free of charge. So if you get the Halo Force Champions bundle within the bonus content, you will receive early access to the Resistor Tactical Package. They have stated no release date for when this will become free later on. As for the other two armor mods, everybody will receive them free of charge. Yes, free. Brand spanking free. Nobody will have to pay for these. You'll receive them one day before the Champions Bundle releases. So on August 19th, one day before the Champions Bundle, everybody will get the Survivor Armor Mod, which ejects you out of a vehicle if it's about to explode, and the Recharge Armor Mod, which decreases the time it takes for your shields to then recharge. And with that, this does conclude all of the updated information in regards to the Halo 4 Champions Bundle bonus content and in regards to the three brand new armor mods coming to Halo 4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to leave a like or a favorite, it does greatly help on my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already for Halo news, Destiny news, and I'll see you guys next time. My name is Chief Landless, and I'm signing out.